gang shit, man. You know I'll be rocking, man. Nephew, middle finger down, fuck up, man. Shout out Hood TV, man. What's up, gang, man? Nephew, man. I was 290 shit, man. Middle finger down, fuck the ops, man. You know how I'm rocking, man. So what's the mode is Hood TV, man. Shit, man, working on this new mixtape, man. This uh, mixtape, I West Gang mixtape. Nephew OWG, I West Gang, man. Y'all get ready for that shit to rock. Get ready for that shit to hit the streets, man. All real shit, man. You know how I'm coming, man. Uh, I got Lil Chris on there, you know what I'm saying? You know Lil Chris MIC. You got Lil Fo on there, you know what I'm saying? I got motherfucking, you understand me? Uh, Taliban Boy Kills on there. I got uh, my boy uh, D, D King 4 on there, you feel me? So I'm still working on it, still putting it together, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting everything together on there, you know, man. Uh, I've been rapping for like, I'd say about 15 years, bro. 15, 16 years, man. Shit, just being in the basement, you know what I'm saying? I used to just be in the basement, sweeping, cleaning the studio up on wall and nothing at the Whitney City bus down Cyphers. You know what I'm saying? And I just started going from there. I just kept working. Working with them to every uh, producer, every filmmaker in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? That's what got me started. From Chicago, out west. Oh, yeah, man. You know, uh, my little cousin did a song with Z-Money. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't, I ain't had nothing to do with that shit. You know what I'm saying? They did that shit in Atlanta. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? From my understanding, you know what I'm saying? Z-Money. And Stewie, you know what I'm saying, a couple more motherfuckers, they got rich off booty money, you feel me? They got rich off, you know, well, not rich, they got paid off a of motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, me? A preacher supposed to be in that, uh, supposed to be in, uh, did some strange shit to him, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? But my thing is, you know what I'm saying, if you know you got booty money, you know what I'm saying, don't be flogging and shit, like, you got this shit out the mud from hustling, selling bricks and shit, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? That's my thing, yeah. But other than that, you know what I'm saying, I don't even really, I don't even really fuck with them niggas like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm from out west, I ain't got nothing to do with that Maywood shit, you know what I'm saying, that ain't got nothing to do with that out south shit, none of that shit, man. My whole concern, man, is dropping shit, putting out west on, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm trying to do some empire type shit, man. I'm trying to get rich like Lucifer's, man. I'm trying to put my whole team on, everybody around me on, the fuck if you model dance, Strip, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying, to make a living, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, create a whole empire with this shit, you know what I'm saying. That's how, that's how I see it coming. Uh, yeah, man, another thing, another, some more shit I want to address, you know what I'm saying, how, you know what I'm saying, me, Lil' Fo and Kia want to do interviews, but they don't address, they don't address the real motherfuckers who really, you know what I'm saying, me, who really helped them, and who really, you know what I'm saying, was there to support a motherfucker. I guess a lot of motherfuckers, who, uh, who deserves shout outs and who deserves, you know what I'm saying, to be, you know what I'm saying, looked at, you know what I'm saying. You got motherfucking Batman, you know what I'm saying, shout out Batman, fold him off Larry, you know what I'm saying. You got me, you got motherfucking Lil Chris, shout out Big Will, you know what I'm saying. Big Will played a big part because he took a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying. But me, honestly, you know what I'm saying, I want, I want to address this shit, you know what I'm saying. I want to, hold on, cut, cut right there. Like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, be like, you know what I'm saying, look for be ducking and shit, you know what I'm saying. Me, honestly, me personally, you know what I'm saying, I was deaf. So, if you really want to know the truth behind this shit, look for, look for always been ducking, you know what I'm saying. It ain't ducking, it's just, he, he aware of his surroundings, you know what I'm saying. You ain't gonna never catch him, you ain't gonna never catch him lacking, so if a motherfucker thinking that, you know what I'm saying, they can, they, can, they can keep thinking, you know what I'm saying? Because he always going to be on point. It's a lot of shit going on. It's a lot of shit going on out here. And I won't I want, I want wish no bad luck on nobody. I won't wish nothing to happen to no motherfucker. But with the whole thing with, uh, what's the nigga from Detroit? The Glow Gang nigga from Detroit who calls himself uh, this and Chief uh, Lufo. Some nigga, you know what I'm saying? But this, I think the whole Detroit mad at Lil' Fo because he mastered they sound and took off with it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's me, that's me, my honestly opinion, you know what I'm saying? I think they mad at him because, you know what I'm saying, he really took they style and mastered they shit and took off with it, you know what I'm saying? And these niggas signed, these niggas signed, you know what I'm saying? They signed to Chief Keith. 
But uh, one thing I don't respect about Lil Fo, I don't respect him dissing Chief Keith and then coming down on Instagram saying that, saying that he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect him throwing shade and songs dissing me. Cause he diss he dissed me in no hooks. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know he dissed me in no hooks. A lot of people don't know he throwing shade on me in no hooks. But the, but he really rapping my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? He really rapping he really rapping my lifestyle. I'm the motherfucking creator of 187 flow. And every song every song he drop, every song he drop, you know what I'm saying, Joe, is a 187 flow type. Sam. Basically, you know what I'm saying, Joe? We started in my room. You know what I'm saying? Well, it was before my room. A lot of people don't know, you know what I'm saying? I got a little for first video ever shot. It's on YouTube. It's called War Seeds. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wake him up in the bed and shit, all that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Juan Gomez came to me one day. The nigga, the guy, he ain't no nigga. I ain't gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? The Mexican guy. Who came, who uh, who shot 187? He came to me one day and he was like, man, how can I get my how can I uh, get my page to move it? So at this point in time, you know what I'm saying, I take little folks to Lil Chris Studio. You know what I'm saying? So when I take him to Lil Chris Studio, we record, I holler at Lil Chris. I'm like, man, I want I got this video man who wants y'all, who want my shoot a video, he gonna do it for free. So right, I'm like, alright, he like, alright, I get Lil Chris the number, you know what I'm saying? So one day. I go all the way to 26, by 26 in California, by the jail. That's where he stay at. I go and get him. And I bring him, bring him to the hood in my car. I bring him. I go to Lil Four House looking for him. He went there. I go on Maple looking for him. I go on Walnut. That's how the video got shot on Walnut. So I go on Walnut, you know what I'm saying? Lil Four out there. I'm like, Cuzzo. At this time, I was promoting this shit on my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? This time I'm like, look, because of which which video you wanna shoot. Whichever video you wanna shoot, you can shoot it. You know what I'm saying? So he like uh he like, man, I'm gonna shoot that 187. But my attention was to shoot, my attention was, man, no, cause we gonna shoot attention. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck, we gonna shoot 187, you know what I'm saying? We shoot 187, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, look for he never believed, he never believed in himself. He never, he never believed. He type of motherfucker who act off what people say, you know what I'm saying? He right, he right, he act off what motherfuckers say. So he shoot it. I'm like, cuz in five months this video gonna take off. He ain't believe. Cause he thought the video was weak, to be honest. So five months that bitch got the sprout. He got the move. The first motherfucker to ever uh, get that video of the busing was Chief Keith Cuz and what's his name? Uh Woochie King Woo Woo Woo. I don't know his name, you know what I'm saying? But he put it on Instagram after that. Shit started, shit started sprouting. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that shit took off. That's how we started. We started by shoot shit with Lil E Films. Shout out Lil E Films. You know Lil E Films shot Sicko Mar first video. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that shit got the bus. You know what I'm saying? It got the bus because we was networking and motherfuckers was supporting that shit. See, Lil Fo won't give a lot of motherfuckers credibility because he's scared motherfuckers might take off farther than him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But me, if I go and perform and do a show, you know what I'm saying? He got he got songs with Cargo. He got songs with uh Stewie. You know what I'm saying? Why why you don't never let them perform? Why he always perform? Cutting up 187. To be honest with you, cutting up the second verse, Taliban Boy Kills wrote that shit in my car. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Taliban Boy Kills, cause a lot of motherfuckers sleep on him. You know what I'm saying? The second verse of the second part of cutting up got wrote by Got wrote in my car. What happened was we recorded in a Lil Chris studio. Lil Fo ain't have a second part to it. So they sent the, they sent the second part to my Gmail. They sent they sent it to my Gmail and I played it in my car over and over. And I came upstairs to do some shit. By the time I by the time I went back downstairs, they had the second verse ready, man. Taliban boy kills put that shit together for him. But a lot of niggas won't a lot of niggas won't even get it. Motherfuckers they credibility, you know what I'm saying? My team never changed. The niggas around me that's around me is the niggas that been around me. Yaya White just jumped into the flick because he knew the little folk had some bangers. You know what I'm saying? He just jumped to the flick and dick ride his way into the wave. You know what I'm saying? But little folk, little folk don't know him. If you look at Cooling With My Shooters video, you say you cooling with your shooters, but you don't even know them niggas a week before you shot the video. Dirt in the video, you don't even know dirt. So how you cooling with your shoes?
then, you know what I'm saying, B, we was doing all type of video, we acting and shit, you know what I'm saying? They got me all bloody in videos and shit, you know what I'm saying? All type of shit. Little folk called a man who shot the video and told him to take the video down, you know what I'm saying? After I exposed the fact that he dissed Chief Keith, which he did not want that to be out. Yeah. He did not want he ain't want that he ain't want that shit to be out that he dissed Chief Keith, you know what I'm saying? And me honestly, by me putting that out there, it made him holler. You know what I'm saying? It made him holler, you know what I'm saying? By me exposing him. Made him holler, you know what I'm saying? That's how I went, bro. You know what I'm saying? 187 was rolled in that room in there, bro. I found the beat, bro. Bank roll made the beat. Bank, that's how. Little folk never knew about all that tagging the hood. Uh, you know how motherfuckers drop a video, they put produced by. He never knew how to do none of that type of shit. The Twitter account he got, I set that shit up. I set all that shit up. Facebook, the county got, I set all that shit up. Instagram, the county got, I set all that shit up, bro. So he so when the song, when the song got, when the song got wrote in my room, Lufo got it taken off and then I, I, I week, me and him fell out of his house. Cause I told him, I say, uh, if you don't owe no motherfucking nothing, bro, you owe me. And man, Lufo used to be at my house every single day, bro. Every single day, every single night, you would think he lived here, bro. Now, the nigga get loud as hell, cause look for loud. Look for way he go, he loud. He a loud motherfucker, he get real loud. So I'm at his house, I'm getting loud and shit, you know what I'm saying? We arguing and shit, we going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? We arguing and shit. The next thing you know, he man, Joe, you getting loud in my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, you get loud in my motherfucking house too. You feel me, you know what I'm saying? So he like, all right, bro, I'm holler at you. So after that, after that, I felt like nigga put me out of something, you know what I'm saying? After that, I won't I won't go on no more. I'm just I just said fuck it, I'm gonna put the truth out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the truth out there and let the truth be known, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how all that shit jumped off, you know what I'm saying? But I still love my little cousin, he still called me, I still talk to him and shit, you know what I'm saying? But our bond ain't like it was, you know what I'm saying? Cause he let my fuck get in between. He let my fuck get in between of that, you know what I'm saying? You let all, all the dick riding ass niggas they be with get in between that. But all that shit ain't gonna work, bro. Cause I'm going straight to the top too. Like I always told him, bro, I'm gonna meet you at the top. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna meet you at the top. And that's it. He personally me, I told him, I told him don't, don't put a little dirt on the cutting up. You know what I'm saying? Cause the shit was gonna cloud off anyway. When you do features with motherfuckers like that, you know what I'm saying? They ops become your ops. Saying you see, Lil Durk got a lot of ops from that JoJo shit. You know what I'm saying? And I told little folks, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting them niggas on your shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, it was times where we'll be sitting in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? And they'll uh the first person from Glow Game to ever reach out to little folk was 4CG Main Man. 4CG Main the, the the beef between the niggas from Detroit. They been, they been sent shots at Lil' Folk. That's what made him diss Chief Keith. You know what I'm saying? They been sending shots at him, but they stole. You know what I'm saying? For uh, Glow Game, Main Man stole, stole Lil' Folk shit. He stole Lil' Folk, uh, you can't hang with me, bang with me, slang with me, you can't bang. He stole some shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what made Lil' Folk get on Chief Keith ass, because that was his artist from Detroit. The nigga from Detroit been dissed, been dissed him though. That shit been happening, you know what I'm saying? And that's how that shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stewie coming to flick where as if, you know what I'm saying? Stewie, the whole 2015, you know what I'm saying? You pay attention to it. Stewie was at every last one of Cargo videos. You couldn't you couldn't see Cargo without seeing Stewie. So once Lil' Fo started clouding up, the only reason why Stewie started fucking with Lil' Folk because everybody used to hang at Lil' Chris Studio. You know what I'm saying? So the song Gang in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? That that song was wrote in my that song was wrote in my car too. I had got Lil' for a job working at uh UPS warehouse. You know what I'm saying? And we used to write. We used to write the songs on the way to work, because it was a long ride to work. But gang in this bitch, that post been me on there. A lot of people don't know that. Gang in this bitch, the son gang in this bitch. Of course, hey, um, every single day, um, what was look for where, um? Over there. Huh? Over there. Every single day. Every day. That's um. 
That's um, that's Osborne Akins. That's Osborne Akins. That's 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 his cousin. You know what I'm All that um. Yeah, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, was that? What little folk was that every day, huh? Right here, right here, do you? You yeah. think he lived there? Yeah, he was there with a man I'm telling, like every day, like bro, like white right on right. Every single day, bro, the man was right here at this crib every, every single every, day. Every, every day miss a beat. They miss a day with me, bro. That's why I know it's a lot of it's a lot of people don't know a lot of my flows and a lot of my uh, music, a lot of my punchlines and stuff. He sit around me and stole my shit, put a lot of my shit in his music, and throw a lot of shade. Like the whole no, the whole no hook situation came from me. If you look at uh, my video, shots fired, ain't no hook on it. You know what I'm saying? The whole idea of the no hooks came from me, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? That nigga stuck to me like glue until he stole everything. He sucked everything up that I had and, and tried to bite me in the ass with it, bro. Basically, that's basically how it went, bro. That's why a lot of people don't know, man. Like, I was really out here, like, you know what I'm saying, riding, you know what I'm saying, sliding. He was always paranoid, always. You know what I'm saying? It been time, uncle's with me, uncle's with me now. I go and get him. I'm riding with him with the jock and my shit. You know what I'm saying? He was always paranoid, you know what I'm saying? Like right now to this day, paranoid. But me, I don't want to come out being like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to come and step out on the hood where I'm from. I want to be able to come and slide and go wherever I want to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing is right there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just letting this shit be known. I'm going to keep it all the way 100, man. I wear 290 shit game, man. Nephew, we'll figure down fuck out, man. So I got the band on right now. I got the band on. So. A lot of niggas gonna throw a lot of shade, man, cause I can't move how I wanna move. When the band come off, I'm going crazy, man. I just wanna say shout out everybody who support me, shout out everybody who rock with me, shout out everybody who from the streets, who know me, shout out Avenue Cartel, shout out SF, shout out Bucci Gang, the real Bucci Gang. 16th and home and sold them. You know what I'm saying? See, look, the only reason how the, oh, the whole thing came apart was look for put the GDs and the folds and all that. Vice Lord, GDs, BDs in the trap house. That wouldn't, that wouldn't even be a movement if it weren't from Look Chris. You know what I'm saying? That wouldn't even be a movement. It wouldn't even be no Out West 290 game. It wouldn't even be none of that if it didn't come from uh, my boy Lacey West, man. Shout out Lacey West. Outstanding member, Joe. So, you know, let's keep it 100 how I see it. Simple. Every, every, like, every, everybody who associate themselves around Lil' Phone, you know what I'm saying? They was cool with me at first. Kid one, uh, uh, cargo, uh, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, even Stewie, but I, don't, I really ain't fuck with Stewie because I already know Stewie had booty money from the dope, him and Z money. So I don't associate myself. Whether they play, whether they play like they, uh, whether they play like, you know what I'm saying, for it, it's still you don't play like that because you a man. You know what I'm saying? Real man don't do that. But my thing is, everybody who surround themselves around me, you know what I'm saying, before me and Lil Folk fell out. On the situation of me putting the bin up or me putting it out there, it seemed like you know what I'm saying, they they dig riding look for. You know what I'm saying? It's like they they all uh, look for don't fuck with them, we ain't gonna fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing right there, you know what I'm saying? Be your own man. Don't let no don't let no man dictate who you mess with, bro. Don't let no, don't let no man dictate the niggas you be around, yo. Be real to yourself, man. Just like, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't friends with Lil Fo on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Cause he'll block me. Then every time I put something on, he every time I put something on Facebook, cause it's contained to them, he'll unblock me, then he'll block me back, then he'll unblock me, you know what I'm saying? On that pussy ass bitch ass she do shit like that. But Kia wanna gave the man my beat, bro. After after I bought this beat from him, if you look on his the, the, the very last live he put up, it took some it took one of my homies to show it to me, you know what I'm saying? The last video he put up, the man took my beat that he's that I bought from him. Kid Wanna took my beat that I bought from him and gave my beat to Lil' Folk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like like I'm just a pushover or something. After after you after me and Lil' Folk got into it, I could have I could have dropped a diss song on one of your beats. I could have dropped a diss song on one of your beats and been like, uh, yeah, fuck y'all, man. But you called me and you asked me not to beef on your beats. You know what I'm saying? And I and I didn't beef on your beats. To, to the, uh, due, to, due to the fact that I got respect for you. 
due to the respect, due to the fact I got respect for you, but you take my beat, you know what I'm saying? You take you take what you sold me and give it to this nigga, bro. I don't appreciate that. But when I get off this band on my life, I'm putting pressure in. One thing you gotta know, bro, I got plenty of music, bro. I got plenty of uh, look for music that ain't, that ain't even out. I got songs that ain't out. I got beats that ain't out. And now since you did that, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, bro. I'm coming for y'all niggas on that beat. I'm coming for y'all. Every time I write something, every time, you know what I'm saying, every time I put something on my page, like the whole No Hooks uh, mixtape, a lot of people don't know all a lot of that shit been out, bro. A lot of that shit that's on that mixtape, that shit been out. I don't even like the mixtape, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the mixtape because for the simple fact is, it's, 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 it's a sound that I created for you. You was, you was trying to be sick of mob. Gang in this bitch, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? All that first mixtape shit, that was sicko mob shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you pay attention to it, he kept the whole uh, No Hooks mixtape on that drill level shit, on that Detroit flow shit. I, I ain't knocking nothing you doing, but like I say, you know, the whole Detroit is really is the, the whole Detroit hating on you. They hating because of something like you took they sound and turned it into, you know what I'm saying, something that they, they could have did. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I respect Chief Keith. Because when Chief Keith did his thing, you know what I'm saying, he kept his people tight. Chief Keith's smart. Chief Keith got people in Chicago, he got people in New York, he got people in Detroit. That way, that he got that like that. That way, when he go to those type of places, he would be cool. He already got family there. Look for try to play the role like he rich already, but he ain't really got shit. You know what I'm saying? He try to play the role. If you get, matter of fact, I'm gonna put this shit out there, bro. You getting all this money, bro. You getting all this money like you say you getting, bro. No disrespect to Big Wheel. I love Big Wheel. That's my big cousin, bro. Why you ain't move your motherfucking daddy out this abando, bro? Why your daddy still stand down here in this abando, bro? You know what I'm saying? Rent free, bro. Well, not even rent free, bro. This is a fucking abandoned building, bro. And don't think, bro, niggas don't see you bouncing in and out this bitch every day, bro. Motherfuckers see you bouncing in and out this bitch every day. Why, why you ain't move your daddy, bro? Just explain that to me, bro. If you if you getting all this type of money, and then you know what I'm saying, the niggas niggas so crazy, bro. Every time these niggas say something about me, every time these niggas say something about me, around my fuckers, don't you know my fuckers run, come back and tell me, bro? Don't you know all these little hoes, all these little bitches, these niggas y'all be around? Every time y'all, every time y'all say something, you know what I'm saying, nigga come right back, tell me, inbox me, woo woo. It's it's so dangerous out here to the fact. Lil' folk can be at a studio, bro, in Chicago, bro, and a motherfucker know he in there and they'll inbox me and tell me to pull up, bro. And that's my whole cousin, bro. Now what if now what if you want my cousin? What if what if I what if it was some niggas out here that was really sliding on that and pull up on you and hurt you? And a female, these females in the studio texting these niggas. Yeah, I'm right here with Lil' Folk right now. I'm right here with Lil' Folk right now. Y'all pull up. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that I'm saying, bro. Like, but I'ma let niggas do them. I'ma let I'ma let niggas do do what they do. You bite the hand that feeds you, you gonna suffer. That's how I'm rocking, man. Yeah, man. Another situation, you know what I'm saying? I'ma address, you know what I'm saying? Look for man. This real street shit on my daddy grave, boy. How the fuck how the fuck you get out of jail, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember bro, I remember Pope 12 hit your house. Found they found a couple ratchets. They found a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? How you get out? You know what I'm saying? You the first nigga in America I know to get out and got caught with, with, with a gun, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when Big, 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 when Big Lord on Cicero asked you, man, when he asked you, man, you know what I'm saying, how you get out, you ain't had, you, you can't, you ain't had nothing to tell him, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to figure out how, how, how did you get out, you know what I'm saying? You the only motherfucker in America that I know to get out. You know what I'm saying? You the only motherfucker I know in America to get out, they got caught with a ratchet. Matter of fact, you got caught with a couple ratchets, bro. You got caught with a couple of them, bro. So how the fuck you get out? Stop stop all this fool ass shit, man, you know what I'm saying? For the TV, man, you know what I'm saying? Making niggas think that you more than what you is, man, you know what I'm saying? Well, everybody out here know, man, what type of nigga you is, man. Okay, love, for we all know, bro. Okay, we all know. You gonna you ride you ride around with jock on you, but do that mean you gonna use it? You ride around with jock on you. Do that mean you gonna blow it? Do you ride around with jock on you? Do that mean you gonna you get caught, you gonna tell, bro. That's why, I would, that's why I would never ever trust you to be around none. And I got going on, solid. We all ride one night. You know what I'm saying? We just left a show. You feel me? 
You pull in the back, you go full house. Pull, bam. You know what I'm saying? Now, my car on the side of they car. You know what I'm saying? Now, as he as he reversing, look for open the door. You know what I'm saying? When look for open the door, the door grabbed my car. You know what I'm saying? When the door grabbed my car, it, it pulled a piece of my car off. I'm mad as hell. I'm down, bro. My shit clean all the way around, bro. My shit clean all the way around. Y'all just got my shit like that. I'm like, fuck it, bro. Kill one like I'll pay for it. Kill one like I'll pay for it. I'm like, all right, bro. So I'm like, he ain't got to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I can get dude right here around the corner to put my shit back on for me. So, next thing you know, I'll hit Kid One up. I'm like, Kid One, just give me three beats, bro. And he's going to call the seller. You know what I'm saying? So, when he give me the three beats, bam. You know what I'm saying? I think he went back. I think he went back, bro. And, and, took, and took what he sent me in Gmail and took my beat out on purpose, bro. And gave it to the little folk, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's petty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because that's basically, I paid for that beat. You know what I'm saying? I paid for it, you know what I'm saying? Well, well you well basically you owed me that. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all to my car. You owed me that. That's basically but I, but I done bought beats from this man plenty of times. I bought plenty of beats from him, bro. Before he even was popping like that. Niggas was scared to pop out, bro. Every time niggas pop out, bro, they was in the car with me, bro. Every time niggas pop out, bro, they was in the car with me. Every time you see these niggas, they in the car with me. You know what I'm saying? It's been times, bro, me and Lil' Fool done got into whole fights, bro, down in the middle of downtown after I scuffing. That's why the other niggas, another nigga from Detroit, talking about he wanna box, he wanna box Lil' Fool. I ain't gonna take, I ain't gonna take nothing from no man, bro, my home, but Lil' Fool can fight, he, he not gonna, he not gonna bag down like that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Cause they ain't even in our family or jeans like that, you know what I'm saying? To bag down like that. He can fight, he can fight, he can fight, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, Niggas gotta protect themselves out here, you know what I'm saying? You gotta ride with them bitches, you gotta ride with them, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, we doing this interview with my daddy girl, bro. God, my witness, bro. When the, when little folks see this video, he gonna know exactly where we at. You know that? He gonna know exactly where we at. He gonna, you a nephew at the crib. You a nephew at the crib on that, on that up shit. On that bullshit. Little folks throw so much shade on his Facebook page, bro, to the fact, bro. To the fact, bro, a nigga won't even know how he throwing it, bro. A nigga won't even know how he throwing it, cause he'll put some shit up first. His favorite words to call a nigga broke, but he ain't got shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got he ain't got much, bro. Niggas, niggas living off shows. Niggas, niggas living off a couple shows, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you would think this nigga sold his soul foul or foul south. The way he fuck with Bibi and Lil Herb them. You know what I'm saying? The way he fuck with them, you would think he sold his soul for them. I ain't got nothing against uh, Bibi and uh, Lil Herb, you know, I ain't got nothing against Lil Dirt, none of them, bro, but would I feature with them? No. Would I do a feature with them? No. Why? Because I'm strictly on putting out West on. I'm strictly on putting out West on. That's the opportunity Lil Foe had. That's the opportunity he probably been focused on. That's, what, that's how he tricked everybody. He made everybody think that he's strictly about putting out West on. You know what I'm saying? But... It all came back and bite everybody in their ass, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Y'all be on the lookout for nephew at West 290 gang. Real at West 290 gang, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be on the lookout for that shit. I see him and Kia Wanna just let it, did an interview. They, they don't shout none of their people out. The people who really helped them, they are like they just got the shit out the mud all by themselves. You know what I'm saying? They are like they just did all this shit all. Oh, we just amazed, just blew up overnight. You know what I'm saying? No, the whole out west supported y'all. Make sure y'all let the people know that. Make sure y'all let them people know about Lil Chris. Make sure y'all let them people know about all the niggas we all was ducking and hiding up on the young know fam down there from the L. You feel me? Cargo, that's my man. I never take nothing from Cargo. Cargo, the only person, bro, who be around Lil for who don't dick ride, bro. Stewie dick ride. All these other motherfuckers, I don't even know them, bro. Them niggas just came out the flick on some clout chasing ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Got in the car. I don't even, I don't even know Yaya White. Yaya White just came out the blue, you know what I'm saying? First thing he did when we met Lil for was did a photo shoot on some clout chasing ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Then me and him was just arguing, you know what I'm saying? We was just going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Cause I said the mixtape garbage. Nigga get mad at me, tell me shut the fuck up cause I said the mixtape garbage. You know what I'm saying? Then nigga wanna go in my inbox, call me, then he wanna screenshot the shit and put it in the message just to show motherfuckers that I ain't got, I ain't pick up the phone. Because for the simple fact is I ain't pick up the phone because for the simple fact what what is what is I'm talking to you for? What is understood don't have to be explained, bro. 
You said go on, he tell me go on, go on, uh, go on, uh, motherfucking, uh, go Google him. That's what he tell me, go Google, go Google Yaya White. Bro, every piece of clout you got, bro, every piece of clout you got came from doing features with us. Fredo Montana, uh, doing with uh, Carpo and them, all the GBE niggas, you know what I'm saying? Every piece, every piece, of, every piece of clout that you got, you ain't did nothing by yourself, Yaya White. And the, right now, you dick riding little folk, you know what I'm saying? Think you're going to get to the top. But that shit finna cut out, bro. Because when this band come off on my daddy grave, bro, I'm on niggas' ass, bro, on my daddy grave, bro. When this band come off, bro, they going to know the real Out West 290, bro. Like I said, bro, shout out every motherfucker Out West, bro, who trying to make they wrongs, they rights, who trying to, who trying to correct they rights, bro, who trying to correct they wrongs, bro. Shout out everybody, bro, Out West, bro. Shout out everybody out west. I ain't say out south. I ain't say none of that. I ain't say out over Maywood. I ain't say hillside. None of that shit. Shout out everybody out west who moving with the movement, bro. Out west 290 shit game, man. Nephew, man. Shit, contact me on Twitter at Nephew365. Instagram at Nephew365. Or Facebook, Dante Gamble, my real name, you know.